she's doing that. Yeah. She's not using any wires. Your fortune. Fortune reading is over, everyone. There's a three-month waiting list here. Now give up and go on home. Can't you bend the rules a little more? You must be deaf, old man. Our best girl does not come that cheap. A man named Thomas told us about you. He said that you would know something about a group named Sapientes Gladio. Sapientes Gladio? <laughs> that old business. Forget it, I haven't got the time. Oh, please, kind lady. Won't you please help us on our quest? And what do I get? I suppose you have no money, either. Well, I, um, uh, that is, um, uh, that is, hmm. <sighs> Don't be such a jerk. Why don't you just ask her already? Why do you do that? What do you think you're doing? Um, pretty please? Hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, well, I suppose I'll have to help. Let's see. You two, you're going to have to work it off on your backs. Huh? East of here, on a small uninhabited island in the Adriatic Sea, there blooms each month a flower called the Adriatic Magnolia. Bring me back that flower.
and get them.
was young and beautiful once, too. Loving life full of dreams, I was. But those girlish dreams didn't last. Men used me and threw me out like trash. I was hurt and bitter then. That's when it happened. A secret group called Sapientes Gladio invited me to join them. Desperate, I joined and even took on disciples to be my successors. But the violence was too much for me, and I ran away from them. They chased me for years, and always I managed to evade them. Finally, I wound up here. I've been with this one ever since then.
Guess I don't know my own strength. That's odd. There's no one here at all. Weird. Where could they be hiding the old man? As hard-headed as usual, I see. Nikolai! What are you up to? Nice to see you, Lieutenant. You too, Godslayer. Yo! Well, let's see. It's been two months since the Mistletoe's Curse, and you still look quite normal. It didn't work. It's a load of crap. Somebody needs to teach him manners. The one you're looking for is no longer here. What? Saint Marguerite Island. We're holding him there. Saint Marguerite? Godslayer. Get me the Emigre manuscript. Do that and I'll give you bacon. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't lie to me. You most certainly do know. It contains the secret of life. You used it to achieve your victory. Afterwards, you and Bacon took it and hid it away somewhere. That much I already know. Ten years ago, three ancient tomes were stolen from the Vatican. The Pulse Tract, which incarnates a god from the soul of the earth. 
the Rilie text, with the power to summon a god from beyond the stars, and the emigre manuscript, which creates life from death. Because each one has the power to warp the very fabric of existence, the books have been widely sought after over the years, and many tragedies resulted from that search. What's wrong? I don't know. I hear a voice calling me. A voice?
Grandma? Is that you? Hey, relax. There's nobody there. But I'm sure that I heard her. It was my grandmother from back home. She needs my help. <sighs> What's wrong? Why do you sound so sad? I'm right here. Don't worry. Karen? Uh, there. Did you hear that? Ah! Get a hold of yourself. Don't listen to what dead spirits say. They can steal away your soul. I believe that something here is trying to frighten us. And turn us away from our task. Don't let it bother you. That wasn't her, you know. Your grandmother's soul is safe. I guess so. Let's finish our job and hurry back. I don't like this place. My family is from Munich, fallen nobility, you might say. If we ever get the chance, will you come visit there with me? Sure. No problem. My, that sounds nice, all right. <laughs> Thank you.
This will help.
You collapsed all of a sudden. Are you all right? Sorry. Guess I need to eat something. Uh. Is that the Emma Gray manuscript? you if you inhale it. Uh. Too late. <sighs> How do you like my special blend of perfume? None of you can move a muscle. No, no. It's her again. <laughs> it works on the central nervous system. You must be having trouble breathing. Damn you! Huh. That was easier than I thought it would be. What'll you do? <laughs> huh? 
Go after it and kill it. What, that stupid dog? It's smarter than you. Come on. Uh, I'll take this. Thanks for the help. Okay, I'll finish him off. Wait a minute. Nikolai said I could have him. Uh, not that weird stuff again. What about it, Nikolai? Do whatever you want. Is everyone okay? <laughs> uh, the back's acting up a bit again. <clears throat> My head feels like it's made of wood. <laughs> they sure caught us. Yep, they sure did. Well, what are we going to do now? What can we do? Bite through these bars? <clears throat> But if we do nothing, we'll all die here. Don't worry. Blanca will save us. Hm. What? That stupid wolf? He's smarter than you. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Bite me, you jerks. What are you laughing at? <clears throat> So, you're finally awake. <laughs> huh. You made friends with the wrong people. <laughs> now you'll have to pay with your life. Eh, Lucia? Try to scare me. You're the one who's going to regret this, Veronica. <sighs> Just because we were students together, don't think I'll show you any pity. Hey, whip lady! Uh -oh. Ouch! Why'd you hit me? What? I didn't hear you. <sighs> Don't even think of escaping. One of the guards posted outside was my cute little Oscar. Hey, young lady! What about us? What are you going to do with us? Huh. I wonder. What should I do? Killing you would be easy, but I'd rather play with you instead. <laughs> what do you mean by play? Okay, which one of you will volunteer to be my special play friend? If you do that, I promise I won't hurt any of your other friends. No, not that. Well, how do you feel now that you're awake? My head's still spinning from that weird-smelling perfume. Huh? What the hell? I can't move! <laughs> You're all my slaves. Now we can spend some more quality time together. Quality time? What are you... Don't you know that your queen doesn't like pathetic slaves that struggle? Queen? Ouch! See? 
Bobby, if you don't listen, you'll just have to be punished. was a taste. Did you like it? What the hell are you doing electrocuting us, you freak? Ah! How about that? Not bad. You seem to enjoy that. I want to show you how happy you are. Let's try it again, shall we? Well, well. Do you think that's the way slaves should talk to their queen? But never mind. That's just the kind of resistance I like. Thank God. Now to increase the vaults! Huh? You can't be serious! What's the matter? Don't look so miserable! Oh, I know. If you promise to be one of my little pets, I'll let you off easy. Judging by your faces, I'd say you can't take much more. What do you want from us? More vaults, more! Huh? Give it up already. <laughs> Very well. I'll give you one last chance. Just swear your loyalty to your new queen. What did you say? You think I'm going to take that kind of lip from you? We'll see. See what you say after this. There. <laughs> <laughs> you really have some guts. Brave words considering your position. Huh. Even in this helpless situation, you put up quite a fight. I think I'm going to like having you as my pet. <laughs> but we're going to have a pretty good time, aren't we? I won't let you sleep tonight. <laughs> And M Broad is nuts, I tell ya. She's really into some weird stuff. Did you find the dog? Uh, I'm looking for it now. Uh, uh, that thing's slippery as hell. I wonder where it's hiding. This book. It is most definitely cursed. Why in the world would anybody want such a thing? Hey! Where are you going? It is time for me to see the Master. Now that I have this, my work is done. I'll go with you! No, you stay here. After she's had her way with them, you finish them off. Not again. Why do I always have to do clean-up? <laughs> hmm. 
She'll be tired of them in a few days. Just be patient until then. Okay. But you owe me one, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, I gotta find that dog.
Now you're trapped. So where's your leader, Nikolai? He's not here anymore. So where is he? I'm not telling you. You don't know. Yes, I do. So where? I'm not. Telling. I knew it. You don't know. I just told you. I do know! Yeah, right. That's right. I don't know. What kind of an idiot would fall for your stupid little trick? Oh. <laughs> I'll kill you for that! I swear I'll kill you!
just for you. I'm the last of the Steel Claws. You go join Nikolai and the Master. I'll take care of these guys myself. <sighs> okay. I'll go ahead and wait for you there. You go too. Just stay out of my way. All I want's the old man. I can't do that. We're gonna finish it. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
just for you. You got me. Lenny! Hey, Roger, wake up. He looks the same underneath. Keep your comments to yourself. Besides, you're late getting here. <laughs> hey, who's this weird-looking gentleman? What a rude young lady. My name is... Roger Bacon! Yes, master philosopher, alchemist, and eternal love cat! Oh! Yeah. Enough of that. We don't have time for your long-winded self-introductions. Eh? What are you talking about? Ah! Yeah, it doesn't look like his bones are broken. Hey, you old goat! Watch out where you're touching! I'm not doing it because I want to! You didn't give it to him, did you, Yori? You didn't give Nikolai the book, did you? Uh, well, you see, um... Ah, you gave it to him. I was tortured for several days and didn't talk. Tortured until my soul cried out... Ouch! Stop your complaining. We'll get it back already, okay? Oh, it's terrible. If we don't do something, there'll be another terrible tragedy. <laughs> get a hold of yourself. First we have to get out of here. Then we can talk, okay? She's right. We should leave before they come back. Hmm. Well, okay. A number of secret societies were born at the turn of the 20th century. Many of them were derived from the Jesuits or the Rosicrucians. Among them, Sapientes Gladio was one of the most interesting. At first, they worshipped the Lord humbly and worked for equality. They valued each other's opinions and were an extremely idealistic group. 
They broke down barriers between races, and just when it looked like they would extend their influence, it happened. With the appearance of one man, the activities of Sapientes Gladio were perverted into something else. The man who became the new leader pushed his own elitist agenda, so that only those who could prove their superiority could join the group. They sent the message that, in the name of their secret society's ideals, they would do whatever was necessary. So they're terrorists. Exactly right. Sapientes Gladio, as they are now, is nothing more than a group of dangerous terrorists. If we don't stop them, something terrible will happen. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But why you, Roger? Why was Sapientes Gladio hunting for you? Good question. They wanted three things. My life, the emigre manuscript, and... And what? Hmm. I think it would be better if I showed you that. 